Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be ranking every single Skyblock Island. We have 14 different islands to rank here, so why don't we just get started? First off, we have the Skyblock Island. So if you see right here, we just very basic. Uh, right now you can see mine. It's where you put your minions. It's where you put your storage, which is kind of funny considering it's Skyblock, but the blocks in the sky you spend the least amount of time in. I would put it honestly, W Island. I'm not going to say it's a great island. You really just use it for the essentials. And other than that, you spend most of your time off of this island. Next up, we're going to have the garden. The garden is where you do all of your farming. With the automation available, it's so easy to make farms compared to how it used to be. And the amount of farming fortune you get from here is insane. In my opinion, it's probably one of the better islands. And I, I know it's going to sound crazy. I'm putting it at S+. Plus. Third up, we're going to have the dungeon island, which I think is probably one of the best islands on Skyblock. With the randomly generated rooms, it is so fun to do to defeat the bosses on every single floor. And each boss you defeat, you have a chance to get insane profit. I'm gonna put it right above garden right here. Next up, we're gonna have the mushroom desert, which in my opinion is one of the worst islands on Skyblock. For a long time, it was even worse, but they did rework it a few years back. Nowadays, the only real purpose to this island is to collect sand and get a little bit of pelts for whatever you need that for. We're gonna go ahead and put it in a boring... Cause I wouldn't say it needs a rework, I just... Maybe a few more features. Fifth up on our list, we're gonna have the farm island. Psst! I'm giving away 200 million coins on my Discord. Link in the description. This is gonna be where you collect the collections for cow, chicken, and pig. Along with that, there's a lot of free crops you can break if you have not unlocked the garden yet. I think we're gonna put this one at mid, because it's not good, but there's nothing really bad with it, just an early game island. Next up on our list, we're gonna have the end island. The end island used to be the go-to spot for end game. Nowadays, it's kind of mid game. If you think about it, are you really slaying zealots anymore for the summoning eyes? What are you really doing on the end island nowadays? Other than spending hundreds of million coins on dragons in order to get a chance at an E dragon pet. We'll put this at a W island. It's a good island, but other than slayer and, you know, dragons, I, I wouldn't think much of it. Next up on our list is going to be the rift dimension. Well, this may be a bit controversial. But I'm going to put this one at S tier, only because it's a fun little experience. It's not really something you spend hundreds of hours on, but if you're bored of Skyblock, why don't you check out the Rift Dimension? It's completely unique and brings a lot more fun to the game. Next up on our list, we're going to have the Spider Den. Home of Arachne and a lot of different spiders. I don't really have much to say about it, it's just I don't spend a lot of time there. Unless there's a fish festival, I'd rather not be here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put it on boring. Now we're going to talk about the hub island. You can do zombie slayer, you can do wolf slayer, you can go to the auction house, the bazaar. If you start off your game, guess where you're going to go? The coal mines. You can know else you can go to start the game. There's so much to do there. So much NPCs, so many different things. I think, honestly, it might go up with S plus with the rest of them because there are a lot of different things you do here. Next up on our list, we're going to have the gold mine. The gold mine is the gold mine. You go in there to collect gold and really not that much else. It's a very, very early game mining island, and I'm going to put it at boring. It does what it needs to, but that's about it. Next, we have the deep caverns, which I'm going to include the dwarven mines and the crystal hollows in this because technically they're on the same island. I think it, since we're including the other two, this might be an S island. Anything from mid to end game mining is on this island, and it's pretty gosh dang good. The progression, the difference in mining, everything about it is well done and thank you admins for making it we're gonna put it in s plus next up we're gonna have the blazing fortress between the dojo the trophy fishing and kudra the blazing fortress might be one of the better islands on skyblock but if you're not end game it's really hard to do anything there and for that i'm gonna put it at w island i don't think it deserves s plus yet but hey it's still a good island yikes we're at the park the most boring island on skyblock you like foraging well, how about you tried breaking a tree and 15 other people tried breaking that same tree every time you tried doing it? Imagine trying to level up foraging in 2023. Yikes, it's been like two years since they announced the foraging update and look where we are. I'm gonna put this at needs rework as soon as possible. And last but not least, we have Jerry's Workshop. This only comes around during the winter season in Skyblock, so make sure you spend your time there wisely. Throughout the years, it's received many updates, but regardless of that, it's kind of mid. You do gifts there, you can do underground ice fishing, but it's like, okay. I mean, mid, 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 mid. 
that's gonna be my list for today thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later bye subscribe bye don't subscribe yeah that one <laughs>